Coronaviruses are everywhere. We've all been exposed to coronaviruses in some way, shape, or form. It's a common virus that's out there. And this just happened to be a virus that happened to pick up the capability to cause a more serious uh, disease. My name is Dave Westenberg. I'm a microbiologist and I have a PhD in microbiology and molecular genetics. I'm a bacteriologist. I love bacteria. I love the things that microbes do. I call myself the germ juggler on Twitter. I love microbes that I like to call germs. That juggling between loving the good things that microbes do for us and being cautious of the things that they could potentially be harmful. I'm not the world's expert on these viruses. I'm not the world's expert on public health. Now we're getting a lot of concerns in the general public about how do we respond to this and how do we protect ourselves. The one thing that we can't emphasize enough is the easiest way to protect yourself is to wash your hands. 20 seconds of good hand washing with good soap and water is the easiest way to protect yourself from any infectious disease. It's not something unique to this uh, SARS-CoV-2 virus. But then also don't touch your face. I wear glasses, so I'm constantly you know, adjusting my glasses. I'm trying to move things. Your mouth is pretty close to the rest of your face. And if you're picking up that virus on your hands and then you're touching your face, you're easily gonna spread that virus around and it's gonna get into your lungs through inhalation. It's gonna get in through your mucous membranes. I use you know, inside of my, my shirt. Find some method of, of minimizing the opportunity for the virus to get from my hands to my mouth to my lungs. When you cough, <coughs> cover your cough. We need to protect others as well as ourselves. How do we minimize, if we do get sick, spreading it to others? So one thing that we see a lot as an approach to protecting ourselves is wearing a mask. Think about who wears a surgical mask. It's a surgeon. <laughs> That surgeon wears a mask not because they're worried that the patient that they're working on is going to get them sick. They wear a mask because they don't want to spread their germs to their patient. So masks protect you from spreading the disease. Wearing a mask is not going to provide you significant protection. So preparation is the best way to handle things. Someone that is exposed to the virus is quarantined for about two weeks. So are you prepared to stay in your home for, for two weeks and feed yourself? So keep an eye on friends that may have, yeah, they're just not feeling well, help them out, give them a hand so that they're not spreading that to others in the community. From all I've seen, this virus is not a super bug. This isn't something that's gonna be um, an extreme event, but it's extreme enough that if it does spread um, without proper controls, it could be extreme. It's called a coronavirus because it's surrounded by these proteins on its surface that looks like the corona of the sun. It's not about whether it's a pandemic or an epidemic or an outbreak. Uh, what we call it doesn't matter. Uh, and what's most important is that we don't panic, but it doesn't hurt to be prepared.